Hello YouTube, Kenny here, I'm doing another dash camera review. I'm not exactly good at this stuff, as you probably have learned from the last time I've attempted to do this. And I'm going to be real honest with you, I've been attempting to do this for, well, seven attempts so far, and it's been a fail. And that's just to get the box open. I mean, how hard is it to talk into a camera and a microphone and open a box? But apparently when you don't know and don't do uh, public speaking very well, it, uh, it gets to be a little annoying. Um, it's like 4 o'clock in the morning here where I'm at at this time and I've taken a vacation and one of the things I've wanted to do on this vacation is do a YouTube video about a dash camera that I've had in my closet for about a month now and uh, I just want to say hello and thank you to Blackview who provided the camera Um, that I am reviewing and opening up today. The uh, the camera in question is going to be a DR750X and uh, it's a three channel model which obviously if you don't know what that is well it has three cameras front rear interior it's all the fad these days for ride share people keep track of what's going on and around you inside and outside of your vehicle because well let's face it you don't know know what's going to happen and camera footage is always nice when when the time comes uh, because then you can be like huh well that could have gone differently and uh how could i improve from that if it was something that occurred on your behalf the, the this particular model it has a uh the sony starvis uh cmos sensor uh for the front and rear and I guess it's just a regular CMOS sensor for the interior one. Um, it's full HD, 1080p for the front. And for the uh, oh, the rear, and then it's 720 for the interior. So no 4K. I think they got some 4K cameras, but that's not the one that they provided me with today. And I asked them for it. And beggars can't be choosers. And I, uh, you know. The person I interacted with via the email seemed very happy and, you know, nice to, to talk to. Uh, Blackview dash cameras, they are cloud accessible um, if you provide it with a mobile hotspot or you buy their optional mobile hotspot or uh, mobile LTE 4G, I think, device. Um, Yeah. But yeah, there's that. Good stuff. It uh I got this and I made contact with them because my a few years ago this Blackview dash camera died. And the last camera that I did a review on, this one, well, it doesn't work the way it's supposed to, and I've had it for a very long time and people aren't jumping out of the woodwork for your dash camera warranty so until they start doing that it's dead no real assistance with that okay so let's get to the goodies of this i haven't did it get my nice fancy uh not sponsored really uh data cabling snips i'm just gonna give it a nice little zippity doodah there that'll be great let's see we got ourselves it looks like a pretty good vacuum seal so a little force there ah, this camera is pretty heavy uh, for what it is and right there right off the top is just BAM camera this is the camera and they don't really stray too much Ooh, that's in there really good <laughs> Okay, well, there you go. That's in there really good. And as you can tell, they don't really stray too much. It's actually smaller. And the fact that it's smaller and they're providing you with three channels, it's pretty good. Um, they have this on the older ones, they have this little RF connector, power connector, and 
you know, various things like that. And on this one, they have started going to a mini SD, still an RF connector and uh, the power connector right there. And uh, still the same place for the SD card. That seems a little different. But yeah, um, there you go. Oh, what's that? Got a little lens cover. You know, it's pretty much the same. Uh, if you've had a dash camera before, a little cover for your lens. That way it doesn't get scratched during shipping and handling. And then same thing with this. For those of you guys who like to take off the cellophane, there you go. Lots of uh, lots of slow taking it off time. Nothing hidden that I can tell in that part of the box. So I'll just kind of set that there for now. You got your your user's manual. This is pretty hefty, but that's probably because they have several languages in there. Uh, English, which is my preferred language, the only language I understand, which is good, I guess. Let's see what we got here. Ah, it does not come out very easily. Ah, well, that's good. I guess if shipping and handling stuff occurs, you having struggles of, of uh, <laughs> I don't know, it tries to fall off the back of a truck. You're, you're, you're covered. So you got a, that's a pretty hefty duty little power cord there. And it's a lot thicker than any of the other ones that I've uh, installed and done anything with. It's pretty interesting. But it has a little barrel type connector in there. Set that there. We have, this is one of the micro SD cables. This is a small one. Micro SD with a 90 degree connector right there. Then this little bad boy, I don't know what this is, but that appears to be micro SD as well. And Oh, it has a lock. What? What's all that all about? I think that might be the GPS unit and probably a little hub of some sort. Uh, USB type hub. There's a lock. Look at all this. You got a little pry bar. All the various goodies. A little adapter plug it in your computer. Pry bar for any plastic paneling. This model came with a 64 gig. It's Blackview branded. Pretty decent. Uh, I usually get the maximum size of Blackview, well, not necessarily Blackview, but SD card sizes. That, uh, that way I can get the maximum benefit out of it. So you got like three of the rear or the other small camera stickies one for the main camera you got some cable management stickies right here a lot of cable management stickies right there looks like uh, it's a little allen wrench you just kind of do that with but yeah this looks like uh just looks like a little usb hub so you plug that into your camera put that somewhere nice and safe and then plug your other two cameras in there which is nice and fine and great Now that's your RF camera. Um, well, I wonder what that's for. Because that says, oh, it's for the rear camera. So that goes all the way to the back of your vehicle. They have a hard wiring side of this, which I did not know that they were gonna put in here or that there is, but you pretty much can hardwire this and plug it directly into a fuse box or that way you don't have to use the cigarette lighter. Well, that's very nice. All these cables are pretty good, decent thickness, and uh, they appear to want to make sure that withstands the heat and temperatures of everything that you got going on here. The inside camera, I'll pull that back out of here, it has two infrareds, which is good because you know what's the point of having a, uh, a camera inside if you can't see if you're driving around at night 
and a lot of people drive around at night and that's you know that's very important the other camera it just has that RF connector in there and if you can hear my cat is in the back wanting to join the party um, so there you go all that's good beautiful uh, the next time I uh, you'll see me is probably when I'm installing this inside the vehicle and uh, hopefully I'll do a better job this time because I failed and uh, <laughs> I failed big time. I didn't realize that I was not recording. And uh, I just want to say thank you for watching my video.